We're in Windows Server 2016, an active directory on a domain controller. And we're going to take a look at the group policy management to discuss blocking inheritance. So let's go ahead and open up group policy management. Now this is installed by default on any domain controller. So here we are in group policy. And if we take a look, we have several different organizational units. And if we expand some of these, we see some have policies inside the organizational units while others don't. So we see this one in the information technology OU, and let's just say that we don't want to inherit any type of policies above. We just want to use the policies that are inside attached to our organizational unit. So if we see we, this one particular uh, group policy object, we see that the link is enabled and it is inside this OU. So let's say, hey, at the, at the parent level, we've got some conflicting policies, so we don't want them to go into the information technology OU, any of its users or computers. So we highlight the OU itself and we right click and we choose to block inheritance. So that means only this particular login script is going to be applied when a user logs in or if it's a computer policy and the uh, computer itself getting applied that policy. However, if we go up to this particular other group policy object and we say, you know what, we're just going to enforce it. So if we enforce it, we see that there's a little uh, lock that shows up next to it, just like on the information technology OU when we right clicked and blocked inheritance, we get an icon as well, which is this exclamation point. So what this means is, uh, even though we've blocked the inheritance at the I, uh, information technology OU level, just because of the fact that we went into this, this particular other group policy object and we chose enforced, it, that means that blocking it is not going to be enough to stop it from being applied. So the information technology OU will have this cert auto enroll group policy object applied. However, it will not have the default domain policy applied because it's not enforced. So that gives you an idea of how to block inheritance and what it means to enforce a policy at the uh, level that's above the informational information technology OU that you see here. Now, if we change our minds, we can just right click again and uncheck the enforced option. And we can also uncheck the block inheritance.